The Dalmatian isn't as simple as black and white. There is so much to these dogs than just their signature coats. Like, did you know that Dalmatians have appeared all around the world in ancient times? Ever wonder why Dalmatians tend to get along with horses? Interested in learning how Disney's 101 Dalmatians actually hurt the breed more than it helped? If you are, then stick around. In today's episode, we're counting down the top 10 most interesting Dalmatian facts that you didn't know. And that all starts right here on The Smart Canine, the only show that explores the most interesting stories and facts behind dogs. But before we get into the incredible Dalmatian, hit that subscribe button and notification bell for more dog facts like this. Make sure to smash that like button if you want more Dalmatian content. Number 10. Dalmatians are born without their iconic black spots. The easiest way of spotting a Dalmatian is the coat. After all, the cow-like spots on the white coat is the signature trait of this breed. But did you know that when Dalmatians are born, they're initially all white with no spots? And just because they appear all white doesn't mean they don't have any of their black spots. You're just not able to see them yet. Young Dalmatian puppies have pigmentation spots that they're concealed by their white fur. It takes about two weeks before the spots start to appear on the coat. And from three weeks on, any fur that grows over the pigmented skin will be a darker color. By the time your Dalmatian hits five to six months old, the spots will become more apparent. And keep in mind, it takes a Dalmatian puppy about seven months for their spots to be fully grown and obvious. Number 9. They were once the premier coach dogs for the canine kingdom. In the past, all dog breeds were developed for a specific role or job in society, where they primarily worked alongside humans. You have herding dogs, retrieving dogs, guard dogs, and many more. But have you ever wondered what Dalmatians were actually bred for? While there is evidence to suggest that Dalmatians were once versatile workers that had many jobs, they're famously known for being coach dogs. Back then, traveling wasn't as safe as it is today, especially if you were among the wealthy. Roads were sparse, and there were plenty of bandits and thieves looking to rob the next carriage that rolled through. Of course, carriages needed protection, which is why they were always surrounded by Dalmatians that ran alongside the carriages. But why did they exclusively use Dalmatians? Dalmatians are quick and agile, with the endurance to match that of the horses pulling the carriage. In addition, they're highly alert and capable of spotting both animal and human threats from afar. Number 8. Dalmatians travelled with Romanian Gypsies Could you believe that Dalmatians were once nomadic dogs that travelled with the Romanian Gypsy caravans? Neither could we, but it's true. In fact, Romanian Gypsies are famously known to have ties to several dog breeds. For example, they made a lot of their money in entertainment, where they often featured poodles in their dog performance acts. And then it came to poaching on private estates. The Romanians famously used the Bedlington Terrier. But what about Dalmatians? Because of the breed's history as coach dogs, along with the fact that the Romanian gypsies were always on the road, Dalmatians actually made a lot of sense. I mean, these nomads had all their life possessions in their wagons and needed some form of protection on the roads too. And according to historians, Romanian gypsies treasured these dogs because of their flashy markings and their energetic personalities. Number 7. Dalmatians are the mascot for firefighters Have you ever wondered how Dalmatians became the mascot for firehouses, despite never seeing firefighters work alongside the breed? Well, the history of Dalmatians and firemen goes way back. More than a century ago, fire trucks did not exist. Instead, firefighters rushed over to the scene using horse-drawn carriages. When the alarm went off, Dalmatians were trained to run out and bark to let bystanders know that the fire wagons would be coming out. After the wagons left the station, the Dalmatians would run alongside, just like they did with those carriages. And because horses tend to shy away from the blazing flames, these dogs were there to give the horses confidence and comfort in approaching the fire. When the firemen were off doing their jobs, Dalmatians protected the wagons and the horses. Though, with the invention of the gas-powered fire truck, they really didn't need those dogs anymore. But even so, Dalmatians have remained the mascot for firehouses. Number 6. A Dalmatian 
set the world record for giving birth to the largest litter. The normal litter size for dogs ranges anywhere from 1 to 12 puppies, depending on the breed and other various factors. On average, pregnant dogs tend to produce about 5 to 6 puppies in one litter. However, in 2019, a Dalmatian named Melody gave birth to a remarkable 19 puppies. The amazing Dalmatian gave birth to 9 females and 10 males, all of which were named after Disney characters, according to the owner. Number 5. Dalmatians are the mascot for Budweiser Clydesdale. Budweiser isn't just world famous for their beers, but also their Clydesdale parades. In the early days of the renowned brewery company, they would deliver beers using beer wagons pulled by their Clydesdale horses. And because the Dalmatian is the choice of breed for running with horses, they unsurprisingly were picked as the mascot for the Budweiser Clydesdales. Of course Budweiser doesn't deliver beers using this outdated means of transportation anymore. However, they still participate in parades and celebrations using restored wagons and Clydesdale horses. And sure enough, Dalmatians often still make appearances alongside. Number 4. Nearly a third of Dalmatians are deaf or have hearing impairment. It's estimated that up to 30% of all Dalmatians are deaf to a certain extent. And according to researchers, about 3 to 8% of all Dalmatians are deaf in both ears. However, researchers believe that this may be related to the blue eyes of the dog. There's an autorecessive gene that not only results in the breed's blue irises, but also leads to hereditary deafness. In countries where the breed standard excludes the Dalmatian's blue eyes, the percentage of dogs affected by deafness is considerably lower. It's also worth noting that the AKC's breed standard for Dalmatians does not require the eyes to be blue, as they could also be brown. Number 3. Dalmatians have a special affinity towards horses. Given how Dalmatians have spent most of their work life with horses, it's not really a surprise that they tend to get along with these animals. Few of us will ever get the opportunity to watch the friendship of a Dalmatian and a horse develop. However, it happens all the time. The history of the Dalmatian and horse relationship can be traced back to ancient times. In ancient Egypt, Dalmatians were believed to be war dogs and hunting companions. That said, historians believe that the two species had to learn to work together in order to hunt and fight effectively. Horses are also animals that require some form of companionship, whether that comes from other horses or dogs. And while Dalmatians were ideal because they had the endurance to keep up with the horses, some believe it's possible that they were actually picked because they get along so well with horses. Number 2. Disney cult classic 101 Dalmatians both helped and hurt the breed. Who could forget the Disney classic film 101 Dalmatians? When the remake of the film came out in 1996, it really put a spotlight on Dalmatians. However, it actually hurt the breed more than it helped. In the movie, Dalmatians were portrayed as fun, adorable and cheerful dogs. While this is all true, the movie never mentioned the downside to owning a Dalmatian. For example, these dogs are very energetic and require a decent amount of exercise to keep them mentally healthy. Dalmatians also tend to be heavy shedders, which may not be ideal for those allergic to these animals. According to the New York Times, many parents gave their kids Dalmatian puppies for Christmas just a month after the release of the film. By the time 1997 rolled around, the shelters were completely filled with Dalmatians. Not surprisingly, when the 1961 original cartoon was re-released, in 1985, 1991 and 1996, all three times saw a huge spike in Dalmatian breeding. Number 1. These dogs have been seen all around the world in ancient times. The thing about Dalmatians is that no one knows for certain where they originated from. In fact, there's evidence to suggest that they've been all around the world early on. There's no doubt that historians have documented Dalmatians in Austria. However, they were also in Asia around the same time. And if we look at ancient relics, it's obvious that Dalmatians were in ancient Greece, but also around in the Middle East. Though we don't know for sure, historians believe that they're likely from an old region called Dalmatia, hence the name. But how did they believe these dogs appeared all over the world? Well, at one point, Dalmatians traveled with Romanian gypsies, and of course, they traveled everywhere. 
there's a good chance that they sold or exchanged some of their Dalmatian dogs while living the nomadic life. And the earliest evidence of the Dalmatian came around 1600 AD, where historians put a painting in the Spanish chapel of Florence, depicting a dog eerily similar. So what's your favorite fact about Dalmatians? Did anything surprise you? If you have something interesting to tell us about this breed, let us know in the comment section below. If you've enjoyed this video, consider subscribing to The Smart Canine for the most interesting stories and facts behind dogs.